everyone. Welcome back uh, from the break. It's not really a break for you guys, but it was a break for me. Um, yeah, it was a much needed week long break. We got everything all done and situated and now we got gnomes, uh, which fun fact is our first viewer requested cryptid. I do have a list. I do have a cryptid list. We do abide by that. The list doesn't really shift much, but uh, luckily uh, they put the cryptid in when I was making the list, so I had some some room to move it around. But uh, same deal, if there's any cryptid you want to hear us cover on the show, uh, drop it in the comments or go over to our YouTube and drop it in the comments. Uh, or you can do the Q&A section at the end of the, the Spotify because we still got that up. I'm doing a lot of housework or what, what's it called? I'm doing a lot of like, uh, I don't know what it's called. So gnomes. <laughs> So as far as everyone's concerned, no one really knows much about gnomes. Not even people who know gnomes know anything about gnomes. Not even people who got garden gnomes. Gnomes barely skim by on a technicality for being a cryptid. And as such, it was a fun one to research for the fact that um, you don't have a bunch of empty, shallow stories. Everything's sort of like focused. You guys want to get a description on this thing? You better give me that description right now. Gnomes have been reported to exist over all parts of the Earth, with one of those iconic places being the very own state of Michigan. That is our home state. Ooh. There is a cryptid known as the Michigan Gnome. <laughs> For some reason, we like to label our cryptids with the state title. They're certified, you know, if a chupacabra comes up here. Certified Michigan <laughs> chupacabra. The Michigan chupacabra. I don't know why I'm saying it like that. Like, I can't put an accent on it. I can't. I just, yeah, I said it accentless. The gnome is a cryptid said to be three to five feet tall, which is massive for a gnome. It's raccoon size, man. Dude, it's bigger than a raccoon. Realistically, gnomes are more like three to two feet tall. Just on here, you know, we have to give them their max height uh, with a big bulbous nose and pointy hats. Yes, the, the mm. icon is consistent. Most of the behavior is said to be consistent with most being with most. Uh, Mo they just stand still. I'm stammering over my words, but they, they, I'm not even kidding. This is part of their lore. If they get found out and they don't think they can get away, they just stand still and pretend not to be there. Uh, which is why you got garden gnomes, and they're said to be indistinguishable from garden gnomes. So you won't touch it and feel the pushy skin on it. Weird one. It's a weird one for sure. Well, so gnomes are more like uh, golem esque when it comes to their skin. They can be. Okay. Can be. Okay, well, what's the indistinguishable thing about them? It's one of those things where it's like they can sort of like switch it on and just sort of statue. They can Kevin Levin stone skin? They can. As we covered the last, not the last episode, because the last episode was ghost, but the episode before that, the Jersey Devil was our most demonic and supernatural cryptid. This is our most mystical cryptid with little twinkle dust sprinkled into their fingertips. It's a good thing uh, we do have these files for this very thing and i will also just sort of acknowledge that uh most of us are tired you know nothing's changed we still kept that same sleep deprivation from the ghost episode uh and as such my voice is mostly gone but we're still good to do an episode so uh, let's jump into our case files with this yeah. uh, we're doing a mini case file the term gnome derives from the latin word gnomus which means Earth Dweller. Although gnomes are humanoid in shape, they are said to be elemental in nature, being linked to various elements comprising of the Earth. They possess the ability to move through their own elements freely, allowing gnomes to pass through solid objects such as rocks, walls, and soil effortlessly. By the 19th century, Gnomes had become an icon of fantasy tales often described as an underworld opposite to fairies, being deemed ugly, slow, and associated with darkness and underground places, as opposed to sprites, and their association with nature, lights, and beauty. Gnomes got a bad hand right off the rip. Eesh, man. Like, imagine being birthed and everyone just starts, you know, roasting the shit out of you, like, off rip. Kind of me when I made friends with you guys in uh, high school, a little more so, yeah. uh, Nick, than Brendan, because uh, I joined the friend group and uh, I was older than everybody, but somehow shorter than everyone. He approached us when we were standing in the uh, in the front hall and we were like, holy shit, is that a gnome? And then we were like, nope, 
barely meet the cutoff. Yeah, I was like, duh, 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 duh. and they were like, must be a numb. And I was like, duh, 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 duh. and then Nick leaned in closer and realized I was saying, hey, how you doing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Few people consider gnomes a real phenomenon, Brendan. Although, <laughs> although sightings would tell a different story, one of the most well documented cases comes from the UK in 1979. A group of children reported witnessing a bizarre procession of beings in the grounds of Wallaton Park, Nottingham. That's just such a British sounding park. <laughs> Could you imagine gnomes with British accents? Wallaton Park, Nottingham! <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna lose our UK viewer base, dude. Like American gnomes are already bad as, as is. Because uh, I, I don't know why. I imagine like because you said Michigan, so I mean all gnomes are immediately American. Therefore, mm. before that, I imagine most gnomes being like Irish or Scottish. But I think I'm yeah. more associating that with like D and D and dwarves. Now the gnomes are gonna come out and they're gonna be like, "Hello, governor." Yeah, gnomes are British. <laughs> they're British now. Uh, look at me. I was terribly uh. Accent discriminatory. Funny little looking human right there. Give me just, <laughs> give me just a second, dude. The group claimed to have seen a column of 30 tiny blue cars, each carrying a gnomish driver and a passenger wearing yellow tights, blue clothing, and bobble hats. A fairy census carried out by the Fairy Investigation Society. Duff! Give me, you, let me finish the sentence, dude, then you can no, say your shit. No, then you can I'm, say your I, shit. I am like a bot. No, no let fine, me finish fine, the sentence, fine, then fine, you can fine, say your fine, shit. Fine, 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 fine. A fairy census carried out by the Fairy Investigation Society in 2014 received over 450 responses, a portion of which described sightings of gnomes, which was directly transposed into the novel. Gnomeo and Juliet. Uh, no, actually, the fairy census. Ah, damn it. Can we go back to that for a second? What the actual was that? Uh, what? Which one? The fairy census or the fairy me? investigation or the tiny little gnomes driving cars and going like, get out of my way. Yes. The New York gnomes. I know they were in Britain, but like I like band. to call them New York that gnomes. Like a band. That, that is a band. That is a band of people that are five foot and below. <laughs> they call themselves. The I was going to say that sounds like a pickleball team. JC, I should shave off like my kneecaps and we should start that band. Hell Brendan, yeah. you, you willing to take part of like mutilating your body to become a gnome? New York gnome specifically. Creatures resembling gnomes are also reported to exist in Central America, where they are known as duendes. Standing two to three feet in height and wearing animal pelt clothing, they are believed to possess a number of magical abilities, including but not limited to invisibility and shape changing. Although the well known gnomes are seen as light hearted goofballs, these gnomes are often regarded as a darker variation of the bunch, labeled as tricksters, liars, and even murderers. Okay, whoa. Whoa, yes. this took a real dark turn. Oh, it's like, I know I'm going to have to get into case oh. file too, but that. <laughs> what is, what is duendes? Is that like a Hispanic thing? Yes, it is the so, Hispanic term that they use for gnomes. So these Hispanic gnomes. Yes. These, that, that already sounds wrong. That sounds racist. It sounds, I'm not going to. You're making it excluded. racist. No, 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 no. Because duendes, right? Mm -hmm. Duendes, all right. Mm -hmm. Dark skinned animal pelt wearing gnomes that are murdering and and committing crimes mm -hmm. listen i'm not trying to make it sound racist it just sounds racist maybe it's because you're anyway. racist i'm not I'm racist i'm not ra look racism is optional and i chose option a to be racist which was racist who said option a was racist that's fair um so the thing about the Duendes is that it, I don't know what you're saying about it or if you think that just the idea of making a Latin gnome a murderer being racist, but I can tell you definitively that it's not since it was a self-coined term as the Latin people did call them Duendes and it wasn't like white people came around and was like, yeah, these Mexican gnomes be killing people. It's like, no, this has nothing to do with anything but their own culture. 
Um, Jesus Christ. Their own culture sort of self-contains the Duendes. And... It's, just, it's such a goofy so name. So that's just that's how they all. are. It's such a goofy name for well, such a murderous creature. It's such a... It's such a murderous creature for such a goofy creature. Could you, could you like, no, but I'm just imagining. Two foot like, man, like, stab you in your Achilles tendon, you fall down, just. <laughs> we got him, drag him off. <laughs> they just drag him into the forest, never seen again. These, these cryptid hunters run up and they're looking for these, these Hispanic gnomes. And they're like, they're like, donde esta duendes? <laughs> donde esta duendes? Like, like, what do you, and then the duendes comes out and he goes, soy, soy la duende. Yeah. You know? This man's coming out and he's like, I am, I am the, the gnome. Yeah, man. Yo soy manzana. <laughs> <laughs> Call yourself an apple. <laughs> yeah, man. Okay. Just move on. Just move on. All right. So in the first case file, I just sort of wanted to establish, you know, what a gnome is and how it sort of involves into real life society uh, or at least the real world, because we know the fairy tales. But, you know, it does have implications in the real world. I set aside a special case file for the Duendes uh, and I'm going to delve more into their impact on Latin America. So. Sick. Yeah. Let's let's get into these. Let's get into this bite-sized case file. Aha! Represent. The Duende have been labeled with various different categorizations of their behavior, with some perceived as benevolent creatures of good fortune, others malicious rotten little monsters. With all the information circling around the Duende, videos have sufficed to depict small creatures avoiding the camera, taking refuge behind bushes and walls. Regardless of plausibility, the Duende have had a significant impact on the Latin American space. In 2011, a creature believed by the locals to be a Duende was blamed for a wave of vicious attacks on children and the elderly. The victims were often sought out and attacked at night. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I need you to hear this whole thing before you before you <laughs> jump in. No, go ahead, go ahead. I feel like a volcano is about to erupt. <laughs> All victims reported being shoved to the ground before undergoing multiple violent beatings from the Duende. After the assaults, the assailant is said to have vanished with almost no trace of the encounter. That is not gnomes, I just <laughs> said it's a gang of little children beating up the elderly. <laughs> that is a gang of like 12 year olds beating up the elderly and then running away and they're like, that Duendes did it. <laughs> Dude, could you imagine walking like down the, the street in like Argentina late at night? You see like a little gnome walk out to the center of the street with like a red cap. You're like, aww. You like start to approach it. It takes off the cap, swaps it for a black cap. You're like, oh no, get him! <laughs> Your kneecaps are down. They just start beating the shit out of you. I should also add that most of the assailants were beaten to near unconsciousness. Like, oh my goodness. Yeah. So when I say a violent beating, I mean like violent beating. Oh my goodness. So they got robbed and beaten. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm too way too. So they do they have on legal record of people being beaten? Like not yes. gnomes, but just people being beaten. Yes. Like that's crazy. There was a period of time where people were just getting beaten out in the night and then blaming it on duendes. It had it had to be a gang of like small orphaned children. In another case from the town of Santa Fe, a mother reports that her infant son had begun talking to and playing with an apparent imaginary friend. Although nothing seemed out of the ordinary, the mother decided to record the child for posterity. While recording, a small human-esque creature was spotted running from behind her son, disappearing behind the furniture. Although when she went to find the creature, it had given her the slip. The creature was described as bearing a foul smell and caused electrical interference, which can be seen in the footage. She claims that multiple Duende have infested her house since then, seeming overall gentle, other than violent outbursts of screams late at night. And that is the end of our second case file. The Duende have nestled their way into this house. 
and I guess just the general nation of Argentina, I guess. They're just living in there, and this lady says that nothing is happening other than the occasional violent scream at night. Only two things come to mind. One, the Duendes are holding cage fights in her walls, <laughs> and the screaming that she's hearing is the brutality and and the other the other Duendes screaming and cheering on their fighter. <laughs> or or they're not holding cage fights, but they're having rat fights. All right, they're making rats fight each other. I like the at the rats. I like the gnome wrestling. I want to see. I want to see little <laughs> Cholo go against Matchstick. I'm like RKO him into a rat trap. Just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Utterly way in tonight's fight, we're gonna have a hell in the cell. <laughs> Over here in the left corner, we got Chico. And in the right corner, we got Flaco. <laughs> <laughs> like the, the dad wakes up, just shut the f up. <laughs> oh, dude, it's too good. It's too good. Brendan, what do you think? You're being awfully quiet this episode. Anyways, uh, if you got nothing else to say, then I guess we can uh, jump into our active theories. Um, All right, well, yeah, I guess we don't really have too much to say other than, you know... <laughs> I want to, we no. want to see a Duende wrestling ring. Not, not we, Brendan. All right. I'm rooting for Chico over Flacco. Well, no, you, you want to see it. By rooting for Chico, yeah, you, you want you to see it. You literally just said. <laughs> yeah. You just kicked yourself in the ass with that one, man. Yeah, man. You know, I'm flexible like that. We can jump into the active theories for this. So I'm just going to say gnomes for an umbrella term. The first theory is that the gnomes are nature spirits. Beings manifested mm -hmm. by nature's will uh, and persist within our everyday society, navigating it as nature becomes less and less dominant. Uh, hence, their lack of visibility in recent years, uh, despite having an overwhelming amount of uh, recordings in the olden times. Uh, so we're not getting rid of the trees so that squirrels can't have homes. We're getting rid of the trees so we can uh, smoke out the gnomes. Yeah. It rhymes, so you know it's true. I mean, who's to say, like, because you, you just said they're nature spirits, right? I said and that's I one mean, of the theories. As, right, no, yes, yes, I'm just describing what you said. So, essentially, I mean, we already know that we're kind of we're kind of polluting shit. I mean, what if the gnomes just kind of died out? Yeah, that's, what, mm -hmm. that's basically in line with the uh, nature spirit thing. Yeah, yeah. So... They could just be straight up gone because of what we did. They could be. That story was from 2011, and it's been like 12 years since then. The next theory is uh, that the gnomes, specifically the Duende, but also the gnomes, are demonic creatures that are infernal in nature. And it's giving them their magical powers and also their trickster-like behavior. I don't like it very much. I don't like the d demons because, I mean, that's just sort of the Christian ideology that anything that you don't understand is demonic. But I mean, it had a place, I guess. I mean, I feel like if they were demons, they wouldn't just be beating you. They'd be killing you. No, I mean, uh, beating. No... They don't need to kill. They could still be beating you. But I feel like a demonic spirit's trying to trying to kill you, trying to really, really, really instill that fear. Like, I can kill you. Rather than uh, if you're walking late at night, Duendes jump out the corner and they're like, I'm going to take your ankles. And then they proceed <laughs> to. Uh, but you're going you're gonna to live. But now you do, you're ankleless. Well, I mean, they are called murderers. So I think the nature spirit one would definitely be a little bit more plausible than them just being straight up demonic entities. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, none of us are really buying it. So uh, the next theory is that it's just a tiny little dude. It's just a tiny dude, and they're living their best life. I mean, here's my theory. Here's my theory with the tiny little dude. I think that they're chill until they find drugs. And then when they find drugs, they're like, yeah, and they find out what they can they do. They start gangs. Yeah. They start gangs, and they start beating people. And then they start WWF matches in people's walls. And they're rooting for Chico, and they're rooting for Flacco. Yeah. I think Matchstick and is an up-and-comer, but... The, the referee, yeah. pe uh, Peg Leg Perry, you know, <laughs> don't get him involved now. I, I would kill to find a gnome wrestler named Shiv. <laughs> his head's shaped like a knife. Yeah, like his hat has like razor blades on it, like the Peaky Blinders. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyways. This is the British gnomes. This is the, the, the OGs, man. Yeah, man. So with the theories out of the way, I'm going to tackle the proof. Uh, for those who are unaware, the proof is our scientific slash reasonable explanation as to what these cryptids are. Uh, the proof for this is that they are little people 
seen through an obscure lens of bigotry. Uh, back in the day, science wasn't very advanced. People don't know what uh, little people are. And as such, they see them and label them gnomes in a very mm. uh, derogatory fashion. Mm. And they're sort of discredited as otherworldly creatures that are mystical and not human. You think the uh, the pointy hats... There's a lot of questions that come from that. Like, you could explain it as that, you know, lens of bigotry and people that have, uh, what's the proper name for, uh, like, what, dwarfism? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's yeah. dwarfism. Um, you could view it as that, but, like, then, you know, the iconic pointy hat, you know, there's certain questions about, like, that, like, were they, were they gathering in gangs back then because they didn't like the people <laughs> who were being rude to them? I think that would be the best way. The ones like, that, in, like, in the ancient medieval times, they just sort of come together and they're like, yeah, they're like, we're going to show the magic. And they just like find people throw sand in their eyes and they're like blinding dust and they run off. Pocket sand. Yeah, pocket sand. A modern yeah. man's solution. Fellas, out of the active theories, after all, all the theories, which one do you like the best? I'm going to go with the nature spirits. Mm, OK, Brendan, how about you, man? I'm going to have to hop on that bandwagon as well. Yeah. I think that's the one I just annoy them. Uh, not annoy the one I just enjoy the most. Yeah. Uh, I mean that's that's cool. I personally, I like dancing with the little people idea. Um, as that's definitely what it probably was back in the day. Yeah, probably, dude. People are idiots. Oh yeah. So, but ultimately, I feel like I don't like that theory. I don't think it's fun. I think it's sad actually a little infuriating but uh personally i really like them being just a tiny little dude i like them living their best lives playing little banjos and stuff like that and they're mm -hmm. dancing and singing do you think to gnomes mini golf is just golf no i think it's uh the temple of doom I, i'm just thinking of them like ants hold on i gotta reorganize my oh, priorities oh. <laughs> Now I'm now not I'm that small. Yeah, you said three to four feet, right? Yeah, like three to two feet if we're being realistic. Yeah, I mean it might be. I consider it like bowling, but you know, like obviously they're bigger, they can kick it, but you know, I think you're onto something. Yeah. So, anyways, I mean like definitely. Like children are two feet tall. You ever realize that people can be small? Yeah, isn't the smallest man in the world like three foot five or something like that? Three foot six? Yeah, yeah. Look yeah. it up real quick. He's two feet. He's two feet? Two feet and 1.68 inches. He's the wow. same height as a gnome. So he, he is. I mean, yeah, could, definitely could be bigotry then. Uh, with all that uh, sort of out of the way, we all got our theories. Now let's move on to our categories so that we can wrap up this uh, cryptid. I've had a lot of fun with it, but uh, let's get on to our categories. So our first category of the night is do we like it? Uh, are you a fan of the gnomes? Do you like the idea of little little gym blows? running around casting hexes on your plants growing beans in your back garden mm -hmm. i'm gonna let brendan take the lead on this one i feel like i've been talking a lot man if i saw one of those things in my backyard i'd drop kick its little ass dude, why what did he do to you Ooh. okay well the he question was is putting hexes on my f vegetables man yeah man he's gonna make them grow more so and all he takes is like I an eggplant anyway i i really like i really like no <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I like gnomes. We're losing I, ourselves. Dude, I like gnomes. If I didn't like gnomes, I wouldn't like myself. Every day I get up and I look <laughs> in the mirror and I'm like, that's a gnome right there. That's one <laughs> hell of a gnome right there. And so... Uh, no Shape November, people think that there is an actual gnome leaving that house. Yeah. Yeah. Brendan, you never answered. You just said you'd kick a gnome. I think I think it's I feel like no. that was pretty self-explanatory. You don't yeah. kick something you like well, unless you're playing soccer, then that's different. I kick your ass in Fighter Z. Oh, oh, whoa, it didn't have to get personal whoa, like that. I suddenly got, personal got really, really aggressive there, man. Well, really? no, I like no, you. Not Fighter Z, calm down, I like down, you, but buddy. the ass kicking is part of calm me showing down, my like. buddy. <laughs> oh my goodness Brendan, Brendan, listen man He makes a good point I think me and you should go over there and jump him To show our appreciation whoa, 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 You know whoa, what, whoa. yo I got my keys already man My car is started Well I'll Ooh, tell the way he lost wind is on the -uh. way. Well uh I guess that just leaves me Uh me, I I like the idea of little little gym blows Little, little fairy wallops uh, dancing around. I like gnomes. I'm a big fan of gnomes. Well, not a big fan, but I like them. I think they're fun. 
I'll buy you a gnome and I'll put it in your front yard. <clears throat> I actually have a gnome. Did I ever tell you guys that? No. Yeah, you have two gnomes. Well, okay, I got those, but I also have a... Uh, oh, wait, Driscoll and... Nigel and Driscoll. I it? have two gnomes under my yeah. tutelage, Nigel and Driscoll. Uh, I also have another gnome that just has a little sign that just says leave. Well, it doesn't really work all that well. Well, have you seen him? Exactly, so who's he telling to leave? He's my assassin. Okay, hold on, guys. I uh, I think I hear my dog knocking at the door. I don't know, it's kind of weird. It kind of smells. It doesn't smell like a dog, though. Hold on, uh, the guys, hey, something, one of my dogs just walked in there, he's got a leave sign with him. Execute oh, he's face shifting. shift. Oh, oh. He's, fa he's shifting, he's shifting. That's the Let's get to treasure hunt while JC gets his ass mauled. This is the segment where I'm going to give these two three minutes to go find the most obscure piece of gnome media, and uh, whichever one I like the best wins, and if they pick the same one, they have to buy it. Three minutes starts now, go! JC, assuming that you have not been killed by my boy, I'm gonna have you go next. This motherfucker took my ankles. He he forced me to send this image in. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so apparently, what we have is we have a Latino gnome with the hat being in the same uh, color coding of the. Is that the Mexican flag or? That is, that's the Mexican that's flag. The Mexican he's got flag. the eagle, the snake, and the little uh, cactus plant. He's got a little, he's got a little sombrero cover in his eyes, a big bushy mustache, and a little chihuahua with the sombrero on it. This, this thing is very nice. I like looking at this. Berrito. Very, very good culturally. <laughs> that's cool. I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you seven points for that. Thank you. Your gnome assassin forced my hand, quite yeah. literally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he knows good taste. Just how earlier we were talking about, was it gnomes or duendes that hide in the attic? Uh, duendes, the duendes right? had the W had the, the deathmatch wrestling going on in the walls okay. of the attic. It's, which one of you said something about them like getting caught in a mouse trap? That was me. That was you? Yeah. Well, how about this? <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, that's good. That's pretty good. That's good. Uh, that's pretty good. Fellas, we are looking at a gnome with his head snapped in a mouse trap. Uh, flying face down in the grass. That's a that's a funny that's a funny one. No, I like no. that. He's face he's face up. The head is pulled over his head. Yeah, that's true. He's completely that's face he's up. completely bodied. Yeah, I'm sure death pose. Yeah, yeah I'm sure death pose too. That gnome that's is crazy. bodied by that mouse trap. I heard gnomes use rat traps as bench presses. I like that. I like that. Ten, ten schmeckles for you, and I'm schmeckles. gonna give you the schmeckles with eight points. Oh my goodness. Does no. that mean what I think it means? Let me get to my ruling and then we'll fi figure it out. Okay. Look at the puppy. It's got a sombrero too. It's got to have some kind of puppy. So that's true. I'll give I'll give the puppy uh, uh two extra points. Looking at the two, the two uh gnomes that you have presented, uh, which one would I entrust my garden with? Well. We have one who has <laughs> failed to recognize the rat trap in front of it. Taking a nah, little nap man, on it. He was trying to hit a new PR and he, he didn't have one spotting yeah, him. He, he had no spotter. Yeah, or he was too weak. Uh, and then we got He's the other one. too many Sam Solik videos and he thought he could do it. Yeah, you're right. You're right. He couldn't. Me on a daily basis. Just I don't even go to the gym. I'm just like, yeah, I can lift that trash bag. I'm crushed under the weight. <laughs> so this gnome is relatable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The gnome is relatable. Uh give it we'll give it uh we'll give it three points for relatability. How about that? As for the uh the other gnome, he looks like a homie. He looks like a homie with a little dog, and the dog's got a little scarf on it too. And I think if I had to pick Imagine. one, if I had to pick one that I like more. The gnome that Brendan presented is funnier, but I'm going to give the win to JC for Let's the go. Mexican sombrero gnome. I think that's Let's a very, go. very good gnome. I can't even be mad about that. You see the puppy? Yeah. You were there with the hat and the scarf, man. I can't even well, be mad about that. Do you know what they say, man? The taller the hat, the downer the foo. So. <laughs> this, this gnome is, is down as hell, bro. So. Anyways, um, 
Yeah. Brendan, congratulations. Not Brendan. <laughs> Brendan lost. JC, congratulations, congratulations on your losing on your win. Easy W victory. Thanks My for rubbing it in, you bastard. My phone just went off. Everybody knows I have an Android. It's over. <laughs> that was short He's getting roasted now. Dude, imagine having an Android, dude. That's so embarrassing. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait a minute. That's so embarrassing, JC. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. Don't cut me off. Don't you have an Android? JC, Brendan, you guys are sitting in the forest one night. You guys are camping as you hear a little <laughs> inside your little cooler. As you look over, you see a gnome sitting there with, with one of your beers. He's cracking it. <laughs> what do you do? You know what? I tell him to come sit down. I tell him to come sit down. I don't Be drink like, beer, on, so I'm not initially mad. I know it's Brendan's beer. Yeah. He That's runs over. He runs over, sits down next to you, as he as he uh, looks at you and goes. Uh, I ask him. That? I hand him a pen, and a piece of paper, and I ask him to draw what he means. He takes the piece of paper and throws it into the fire. Reaches into his back pocket and pulls out a comically large bleach bottle. Oh no. That is when I proceed to grab the little fucker by the back of his neck and I just start swinging him around like Hulk come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, the first Avengers come on, come on, come on. And then I yuck this mother over the trees across the horizon never to be seen again. Yeah, like Team Rocket blasting off again. Pretty much. These thing moves in packs. They move in herds. I gotta go. I I'm getting in my uh, uh my Ford Raptor 2018 with the back tool bench. Stop promoting cars. As you do that, you hear rustling in the bushes. You hear as they like eight of them jump out like with with bleach bottles as they start to close in around Brendan. Bottles? Brendan, you're about to find out. Okay, that is when I take my belt off. And I start swinging around at all of them like whip, man. I'm fight, I'm fight, I'm kicking and swinging. Yeah, one of the uh, two of the gnomes, gnomes like grab onto the bleach bottle. They throw it up, trying to splash it in your face. Nuh-uh, because I have a protective <laughs> shield that protects me from bleach. <laughs> yeah, it's called your eyelids. Exactly. So, so dumbass, <laughs> bleach is you in the face. Nuh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> no. -uh. Yeah. After after they fail to bleach you, they they just run back into the woods. Can I drive my Ford uh, Raptor into the bush? Yeah. As uh, JC <laughs> runs over like three gnomes in his bloodlust, kills these innocent <laughs> little creatures. You guys are monsters. Innocent, you say. Innocent, yeah. you say. Yeah, they're little goofballs. <laughs> yeah. JC, see, those weren't gnomes. That was the family at the campsite over. Why did they all have bleach bottles? Yeah, <laughs> it's crazy. That gnome's gonna go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. <laughs> I can say definitively, you've made a vendetta out of that gnome. He's he's gonna come back for you. Uh, and with that, we are ready. going to move on to our next category, Pels. We are going to tackle death battle. Uh, we are gonna pit these gnomes against every cryptid we've covered on the podcast so far, and see where mm. do they fall right. into the hierarchy of cryptids. I feel like before we begin death battle, we should establish what the gnomes are capable of. Because we've always just sort of been vague about that yeah. with the cryptids. Gnomes are Getting said like a to possess. Let me pull out my list. Ooh, he's got a list now of abilities and stats. Yes, 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 yes. They possess the ability to traverse throughout elements such as rocks, possess invisibility, magic, and shape changing. Mm, shape shifters, right, 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 right. Yeah. As such, I think that the gnomes are going to be placed, although they are going to be at the bottom of the totem pole. I think they are far from, you know, a, an embarrassment. I think they, if they find the right cryptid, they could probably take it. So they won't stay there forever, but they're going to be sitting there for a, for a nice little while. I think it's more realistic to like start from the bottom and then work its way up and see where it places. So it fights Mothman. And I think it doesn't really make it past Mothman. I think Mothman will take the gnome. I think Mothman, he, I mean, Mothman was stealing babies, so. Yeah, I mean, Mothman it didn't win, and again, that's alleged, but the idea is that it has the ability to, you know, beat a gnome. Unless these gnomes are covered in Dawn Dish Soap, they're not winning. Now moving on to our last category. Fellas, after discussing the gnomes and talking about them and figuring out what we like and what we don't like, at the end of the day, fellas, do you think it is possible for these gnomes to exist? Anybody want to take lead on this? If not, I'm very welcome to. Go ahead. 
All right, sick. No. <laughs> uh, I don't think gnomes are real at all. I think it was a form of bigotry that was created back in the 14-whatever uh, era, just uh, medieval or cowboys. Call it what you will. It was created way back when it was just a form of bigotry that got taken too far. The, I guess that just honestly goes without saying. I, I, I genuinely, I don't think they're real. Now, to piggyback on what you just said, JC, I believe the exact same thing that you just said, but also, I believe there were some really smart people out there that said, hey, you know, we could really market this. We could really merchandise this. So, all the gnomes you see in stores nowadays are from that era. I got my assassin. Believe oop, it when I oop, see it. Oh, chill, chill, chill. All right, he's on, he's on his way. He's on his way. Well, okay, he's, he's gonna, you know, have a really, really long... What the f***? Yo. Yo, shit. He literally just... He said, no, dude, Sick no, his ankles. Goes, Bring him down to your level. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at? Oh, my bad. Okay. Well, anyways, uh, if I had to say, I think that there is an area in which the gnomes could have existed. In the medieval times, I do believe that in some aspect or capacity, gnomes could have been around. But ultimately, I am not I'm not that naive and not to say if you think gnomes are real, you're naive, but I'm not naive enough to believe every single cryptid we present. And as such, I think I will say that I don't really think gnomes are around. They're not kicking. Could they have been? Probably. But no, I don't think so. And uh, but they're fun. They're very fun and they're a fun story to tell. So regardless of their legitimacy, I think gnomes are always fun to discuss. And with that, uh, we are going to round out our is this episode seven or eight? I think I think that that's Brendan right there. I think I think Brendan's getting dragged around in my front yard right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. And dude, they're parading him. Oh, they're coming back out. <laughs> Is that Flacco and Chico? That's going to do it for our episode on gnomes. It's been a fun episode. Um, I really like discussing this. I hope you guys enjoyed it just as much as I did. Please come back next episode when we tackle the Chupacabra. Yeah, let's go. See you later. Bye, guys.